Oh, shoot. Can you hear me? Yeah, now I can. Uh, what's your email? Um, I am J-A-B-E-L at S-O-M-D dot org. Got it. Send you that. Thank you. Sorry about that. See if that helps. Okay. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. And so I will get this up. All right. I'm letting people in and we will get going. Yeah, sure. No problem. Cool. Big group today. This is great. Awesome. Hello, Pat. Hello. Hello. Nice to see you. How are you? Very I'm well. good. How are you guys? This is great. Hey, Warren. Hey, how's it going, Adam? Good. Hey. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Ben, you let me know whenever we're ready to get rolling, okay? Sure thing. What do you want to Oh, that's right. There's 16 minutes. Do this screen. Oh, I just saw David. Uh, there is, yeah. Uh, so <laughs> All right. Hello, everybody. Hello. There's a mood meeting. I hope everybody is doing well and having a good week. We are um, really excited today to have uh, Dr. Warren Kalkstein with us. Um, from Towson Chiropractic, and he's going to be leading our uh, MOVE meeting today. So uh, we'll let uh, Dr. Warren introduce himself, and then we'll get going. Dr. Warren, I just want to confirm, can you see um, the screen, the uh, slides? Yes, I can, Ben. Awesome. Thanks. All right. So go ahead, and, and we are good to go. Hello, everybody out there. Um, uh, so my name is Dr. Warren Kelstein. I'm a chiropractor here in Towson. Um, I grew up here in Towson. I'm a lacrosse player at heart. I played at Towson University, and um, I'm really excited to be with everybody today. Um, I've uh, I've been a big uh, fan of, of you guys for a long time, and to have this opportunity to work out with everyone um, is uh, is a true honor. So uh, thank you for joining me today. And Ben, you let me know. Can I get started with the uh, with the oath? Go ahead. Sure. All right. Everybody, uh, if you want to, you can join me. Let me win, but if I cannot win, let me be brave in the attempt. It's awesome. Awesome, uh, thank you. These guys, I'm so grateful. So I guess we can get started. Um, and Ben, you can interrupt me if, if, I'm, if I'm stepping out of uh, order at all. Nope, you're perfect. Great, so the first thing that we're gonna get started with today is something that I call a controlled articular rotation. That's a fancy name for uh, taking a, a joint through the end range of motion, okay? And we're gonna do it first with the shoulder because it's an easy one to start, and then we're gonna do it with the neck. When we do it with the neck, uh, make sure that if you get dizzy easily, you're sitting down when you do it because you're gonna really move your neck around. So let's get started with the shoulder. I'm gonna be standing up. And Ben, I'm kind of talking loudly. Let me know if it's too loud. Nope, it's perfect. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna face this way so you get a full view of it. Your hand is gonna be down by your side. We're gonna do the, your shoulder first. Your thumb is gonna to go towards the ceiling as high as you can go. It's, it's a slow motion. And then you're gonna turn your hand open, nice and slow, keeping your hand above your head. And then without moving your torso or your back or your neck, you're gonna reach that shoulder back. So you're gonna to wanna to turn your body, don't do it. Just the shoulder moving, reach far, and back. It's gonna be a little bit of a stretch and it's gonna be hard to do, but that's when you know you're doing it right. You're gonna come down till your hand is down by your side and you're gonna reverse that motion. So your thumb is gonna be facing forward. You're gonna go back with your pinky. You're gonna open up, really reach back. Don't turn the shoulders, keep them nice and square to, to the uh, facing forward. Thumb up to the ceiling, come down and 
Repeat again, okay? So we're gonna go up one more time with that right arm. Up, 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 thumb facing backwards. Don't open up the shoulders, keep yourself square. Reach back as far as you can go and your hands naturally gonna open up. Good, and reverse it. Back again, end range, rotation of the shoulder. Reach, 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 reach. And hand back down. Let's go through it on the left side. I'm gonna face this way so you can see it. Hand down by your side, thumb goes up towards the ceiling. Now when you get to the top, think about reaching your fingers to the sky, really getting tall through that shoulder. And then you're gonna pull that shoulder back with your palm opening up, like you're trying to wave to someone going by you. And you're gonna reach that hand back, 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 back. Don't open up your shoulders, keep them nice and square. And down by your side, repeat with the opposite direction. Go back up. Up, 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 up. Keep it up, everybody. This is just a nice, gentle, slow warm up. We're waking up our joints nice and slowly like this, okay? This is a really healthy way to get ready for an event or a workout. We're taking our joints, we're moving them, and that's really healthy for a joint is when you move them. That's how they get their vitality or their health. And then we're gonna reach back. Arm goes to the ceiling, open up the palm. You're waving to that person again. This is the last rep, make it a good one. I'm this is tough because I'm really trying to reach my hand in the biggest circle that I can possibly go. So good work. Next, we're gonna move to the neck, okay? And you can go to that next slide. Good, so you saw we just did the shoulder. Now we're gonna do the neck. I'm gonna sit down for this one, okay? First, you're gonna take your chin down towards your chest and think about the way that it is a good imagery to think about when you're doing this, think about a pen being on the top of your head and you're drawing the biggest circle that you can draw with that pen in the air, okay? So first, your chin comes down and this is gonna take about 10 seconds to go all the way around. So nice and slow, chin down towards your chest, then circle towards your left shoulder, drawing that circle with that pen at the top of your head big, big circle, and then your head's gonna go back. It might get a little uncomfortable here. Try to relax your shoulders. Don't hike them up. Keep your shoulders relaxed, your head's back. It's hard to talk with your head back like that. I hope you can hear me. And all the way down, chin to your chest. Okay, good job. You went to the left that time. This time we're gonna go to the right. Big circle. My ear's almost touching my shoulder at this point. And then I'm going straight back with the crown of my head, exposing my whole neck. I'm looking straight at the ceiling. Good. What you might find is that you're arching your back, sit up nice and tall and just have your neck move. Don't lean back with your body, just your neck moving. You're really focusing on the joints of the neck, okay? Let's do that one more time all the way through. Chin down, big circle, reach. Head back. And reverse. Don't hike up those shoulders. All right, we got our neck and our shoulders loosened up a little bit. We're gonna move on to the next um, mobility, spinal mobility routine. And that is gonna be something that you can do standing up, okay? The first thing we're gonna do is lateral flexion. So right arm goes up to the ceiling. Your left hand goes on your left hip. You push first with the left hand. Let your hips go as far to the right as possible. And then you're gonna reach your right arm. Good job. We're gonna do that 10 times, just like that, nice and slow. When you get to this position, take a breath in and exhale and reach a little bit farther like you're trying to give someone a high five that's running by you in this position. Again, we got eight more, nice and slow. Reach, breathe in, make it smooth. Let your hips travel to the right. Let your body and torso travel to the left and open up that rib cage, open up that shoulder. You're gonna get a stretch all the way through your lat. That's three. 
Breathe in. Exhale. Four. Breathe in. Now make it smooth. Exhale. Five. Six. Good job. Keep it up, everybody. We're just warming up. Take the time to do this. This is so important. Makes your workout way more efficient. Seven. Reach that arm. If you feel like you're bending your elbow, extend your elbow and reach. Eight. Breathe in, nine. It's okay if you're going slow like I am, it's all right, it's a warm up. We'll get to the fast paced stuff soon. 10, good job. Now we're gonna go to the other side. Right hand on the right hip, left arm goes straight up. Our hips go to the side first and then we reach over. So you should feel a stretch in your low back and along that left side, one. Two, when you're doing this, you might have a tendency to do this. Don't do it, stay up nice and tall. Don't let your hips go backwards or forwards. Let them go right to the side. Imagine you're stuck between two pieces of glass. Well, how about we say we're, we're, uh, we're, we're between two pieces of foam and we can't touch the foam in front or behind us. So we have to stay nice and parallel with our body and just reach straight over our head like so, four, five, good job, keep it up, six, seven, Alex, how's my form? It's good, all right, good, eight, breathe in, reach, exhale, nine, 10, good job everybody. Okay, so we've gone through lateral flexions. Now let's go through a standing extension. You're gonna take your hands, the heel of your hands, and you're gonna place them right above where your belt would be on your low back, okay? Your fingertips are gonna be resting down and flat, okay? It's gonna look like this. Feet shoulder width apart, like so. You're gonna allow your hips first to coast forward. Then you're gonna breathe in, and with your hands, you're gently gonna uh, push your hips forward just a little bit farther until you feel your back go into extension. The first five, we're going to do nice and slow like that, and then we'll involve the head. So keep your eyes forward so you can get used to this motion. Breathe in, and on the exhale, push with your hands, let your hips go forward. You'll feel a lot of pressure here. If it's uncomfortable, don't push so hard. It should feel good, like a, like a good stretch should. It shouldn't be painful, okay? Coming forward, take a breath in. Now you notice using your breath and exhaling gives you a couple more inches sometimes of that stretch. Again, from the front, standing up nice and tall, feet shoulder width apart, breathe in. Exhale. I see some people throwing their head into it, let's do it, all right? So take a deep breath in through your nose, exhale, go forward. On the second breath, breathe in. Gently exhale, let your head fall backwards and get a little bit more extension. I'll do it from the side, okay? Breathe in. Easy exhale. Breathe in. Exhale, head comes back and we get a good back stretch, okay? Let's do two more of those and keep it up, okay? Nice and easy. When you're doing this, you're gonna feel compression in your lumbar spine and that's all right. We wanna get pressure on those joints because that, is really healthy for the low back, okay? We've done lateral flexion, we've done extension. Let's go ahead and move on to the next uh, mobility routine, okay? And this is one of my favorites, all right? We're gonna get on the floor now. And I'm gonna tilt this down so you guys can see me, okay? This is called the Spider-Man stretch, all right? It's a 15 second hold, but I don't want you to be just um, still the whole time that you're holding it. So let's go left foot up, Right leg back, your knee is gonna be touching, your right knee is gonna be touching the ground. Your right hand is gonna come down underneath your right shoulder. Your left hand is gonna come down underneath your left shoulder. Your torso is gonna drop in between your two legs. So your left leg should be out to the side and your left arm should be on the inside. 
And let me show you what it looks like from the front so you can get a picture of what, what I'm doing. You see my knee out here? Good. You gotta look at that. And then my hands are down below my shoulders. I'm gonna take a breath in. On the exhale, I'm gonna coast my hip forward and I'm gonna allow my chest to fall as close to the ground as I can. And then I'm gonna press up, look up, breathe in. And on the exhale, I'm gonna fall again right into that space where I'm getting a good stretch on my right hip flexor. Let's do that one more time. And I'm gonna do it from the side if you can't see. My leg is nice and long in the back. My hands are underneath my shoulders. I take a breath in and exhale easy. I'm thinking about pulling my hip towards the ground and my chest is falling with it. Everything is staying in line. Don't arch your back too much with this one, okay? Let your body fall in a straight line from your shoulder to your hip. All right, you guys know that you can watch me, right? If you're not sure about the motion with any of these, and if you just wanna learn it and then come back to this video if I'm going too quickly, okay? So uh, these are great, this is a great routine to go through on a regular basis. So uh, just, if you're having a hard time keeping up, just, just study what I'm doing and then come back to it. I'm gonna try to try to teach as much as I can through it. Okay, we're gonna go to the left hip. All right. I want you to be athletic and in control in these stretches and these movements. Everything is controlled. It's not uh, hanging out in this position. You breathe in and with, with control, you're relaxing deeper into that stretch. My chest is falling, my hip is falling. I press back up, I breathe in. On the exhale, I fall into that stretch. I feel this on my, my right hip and I feel it on my left hip. On the outside of my right hip, and now I'm stretching my left hip flexor, and I feel it on the front of my left hip. And I press up, last one, breathe in. Exhale. Good work, everybody. Ice on each side, let's get our arms warmed up a little bit, let's go to the other side. Nice and easy, breathe in. Exhale. Breathe in. Right hip flexor stretch, exhale, stretch it out. Think about scooping your hip down towards the ground. Your chest is falling too. Good. Switch to the other leg. That is the left hip, okay? Last one, breathe in. Exhale. Feel that hip stretch, breathe in. Exhale. Last one. Exhale. All right. Our hip flexors. Dr. Dr. Now oh, no. I'm going to show you what's called a press up. We're going on to the next one. Hey, Dr. Warren, just real fast. We're building the low back, all right? On this one. What's that? Sorry, we have uh, just a little under 10 minutes left. Uh, for Got this it. Just Let's go. We'll, we'll speed this up a little bit and we'll get right to the, uh, the core stuff, all right? So just five reps of this press up. Ready? My hips are down, I'm gonna press straight up, chest up to the ceiling in front. And then I come down. I don't move my legs at all. Press up, breathe in, exhale. Good. Three more. Exhale, good low back spinal mobility drill right here. And two more. Exhale. Good, last one. All right, due to time, we are gonna get a little sweat here. We're gonna keep it rolling, all right? Dead bugs, you're gonna be on your back. Knees come up, legs at a 90 degree angle, all right? Join me, on your back. Hands go straight up to the ceiling like so. Your right arm is gonna reach back. Your left leg is gonna to try to tap the heel to the ground. My right thumb and my heel tap at the same time, and I come back up. Now left thumb, left heel. Everything else stays nice and still as you do this. Only the right arm and left leg move and back up. Good. Let's go for 15 seconds here. Get into a nice uh, rhythm of back and forth. If you don't move your back at all, as in if you keep your back flat to the ground, you'll start to feel your core working in this position.
Good. When you get comfortable with that one, you can do it for up to a minute as a good warm up for your core, okay? Next, we're gonna go in the same motion on our hands and knees. It's called a bird dog, all right? The slower and the more you reach, the harder this is. When you reach out, don't extend your back. Keep it nice and flat. Hand and heel reach. And then back down. Right hand and left heel reach. Don't extend your back. Keep it nice and flat. And back down. Let's go here. 15 seconds. And down. So the key to this one in terms of getting a good core workout is keeping your back completely flat and not moving your back knee closer to your belly button. It should stay shoulder width apart. So your knees are shoulder width apart. Five more seconds. Keep them shoulder width apart. Good job, everybody. All right. Here we go. Let's get on our feet. We're going to go do through the squat matrix. All right. All right. So first lunges, left foot forward, right foot back, get your hips parallel. That is keep your belt line flat and drop your hips straight to the ground. You shouldn't feel much pressure on your front knee with this one. Okay. Your front knee shouldn't get all the pressure. If you are, you're leaning too far forward. Okay. Let's go five reps each. Nice and slow, breathe in on the way down, exhale up. Breathe in, exhale up. See how my chest is staying nice and tall when I lunge? Keep that position just like so, okay? Good, and then we're gonna switch to the other side, okay? Right leg forward, left leg back, nice and easy. Chest up, hips are square, and straight down. I don't feel much pressure in my right knee, it's all in my hamstrings and my glutes, to the back of the thighs and my, my hips. Chest up, good. Three more, nice and good. Nice, good form, nice and tall. Breathe in on the way down, exhale up. Breathe in on the way down, exhale up, good job. Now we've got 10 squats. Hands go straight up into the air, like so. And then you go down, touch your toes, sink your hips to the ground, reach your right arm up, reach your left arm up, and squat up, okay, five of these. Hands to your toes, hips to the ground, chest up, right arm up, left arm up. Good job, keep it up. The hard one with this is keeping your chest up. So get to this position. If you're, if you're going like this and you're bowing forward, you're not in a good spot. Keep your hands up. It's gonna be harder and harder to get your chest up. That's good, that means you're working your mid back. Hands down, hips down, right hand up, left hand up. Now last one here, I want you to slowly come up. Slow, 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 slow. You might feel some different hip muscles working. That's good, you should try to practice that a little bit. Slowly coming up out of a squat. All right, hardest one for last, lateral lunges, all right? Nice, good wide stance. Lean to your right, bend your right knee and then sink down, hands go out. Good, bend your left knee. Right leg stays straight, nice and wide. Hands go out, chest is staying up. You should feel it in your legs now, okay? Breathe in, exhale. Breathe in, exhale. Let's go through each leg, breathe in, exhale. Keep it up. Good job, everybody. Get a little bit of a heart rate, elevated heart rate. Get some cardiovascular work here. Building up the speed a little bit. Good form, chest is staying up, hands are going out. Good, let's do one more. Each leg. All right, I thought that was a good one. Let's do one more each leg. Come on, don't give up. Let's go, let's be grateful for that extra rep. Work hard in this time, okay? All right, good job, everybody. That was the strength portion. Nice work. Good job, good job. Um, if you kept up with me, you should have a little bit of a breathing, a little bit, a little bit of a sweat. Um, if you need to go through them again, good for you. You're in great shape. Um, 
and keep it up. So next we're gonna be doing the pretzel stretch, all right? This one is awesome. This gets your shoulders, your hips, your mid back, on your back, knees come up. So bring your right knee up towards your chest. Take your left hand and pull it across your body. Let's do that again. Right knee comes up, pull that knee across your body. Hold on to your thigh with your left hand. So your right thigh, left hand. Then you're gonna take your ankle from your left leg and your right hand and you're gonna connect them. And then you're gonna try to bring your shoulders back to the ground. All right, I'm gonna show you while you're practicing that. Keep it up. So from this angle, if you can see me, there we go. As I bring my right leg up across my body, my right hand is now free because my left hand is holding my knee. I grab my ankle, I open up my shoulders, breathe in, exhale, stretch. I'm trying to connect my right shoulder to the ground. Good, if you've got that, let's switch to the other side. Left knee up, left knee comes across. Hold on to that left knee with your right hand, pinning it to the ground. Bring your ankle up, this might be the hardest part of it. Grab onto that ankle, you see, there we go. And pull that shoulder back and get that spinal twist and a hip stretch at the same time. You might even feel a good quad stretch on that right leg. All right, everybody, keep stretching, it looks great. We only have a few seconds left. Um, gotcha just based on our Zoom meeting time, but um, I do want to thank Dr. Warren.